minus 30. Oh, that's cold. All right, guys. So I just went to Acorn Welding here in Edmonton. I picked up um, something I'm really excited about. I'm gonna show you right now because I'm too excited to wait to get to the airport. So here it is. So this is a custom heat shroud for the Pipistrelle Virus on a 912 IS engine. And the one that you can get from Pipistrel is covers about the area of this. It's very small. So this thing covers basically the entire area, which is so awesome. And today it's minus 30. So we are gonna go and throw this on and I actually have to fly tomorrow and it's minus 30 as well. So we're gonna see how it performs. All right, let's go to the airport. Still cold out. Oh yeah, there she is. All right, it's only minus 28 out right now. We're gonna take the cowl off and I'll show you comparison side by side the Pipistrelle heating shroud versus this custom one that I got made. And then we're gonna put the custom one on and uh, I'm actually gonna be flying tomorrow, which is still minus 30. Um, and then I'll take my temperature gun to actually see what the uh, temperature output is of the heater um, from the outlet in the plane when we're flying. But uh, the guys at the shop said that I should get about four times as much heat out of this one versus the Pipistro one. So hopefully that's the case and hopefully it fits on. We'll uh, see if it works. All right, we got this off. So we can see here, this is the Pipistrel shroud. It stops right there. It doesn't wrap around the whole thing um, or the sides. So it covers about a quarter, maybe a little bit more than the quarter of the, muff the muffler. Uh, this new one goes around the whole thing. I bought a new muffler from Pipistrel so I could get this made. But basically how this works, so you got your air inlet, that's where the air comes in from the cowl. It goes around the muffler, all the way around. And go like this, air goes around. And this is where it pipes out into the cabin. And there's an inline fan on the Pipistrels, so there's a fan in there that sucks, it'll suck the air coming in there and out into the cabin, so it's not just a, a gravity fed, it's actually sucked in with an inline fan. I gotta open this door up a little bit, maybe the sun will warm me up a little bit. So you can see the difference here between the two, it's the old one, the new one, how much more area is covered with this shroud. Should be sweet. Let's go put it on. Okay guys, we're in the car because the GoPro is just too cold for the cold <laughs> for uh, recording outside. The battery just dies instantly. So we're nice and warm in here a little bit. I just took this apart. You can see the halves. That's two halves. One here, one here. And uh, I'm guessing you can uh, visualize how this goes on. I'm gonna go out there, put it on, and then I'll get the GoPro and I'll show you, show you what it looks like when it's on the actual plane. Uh, unfortunately, it's just too cold for the GoPro to record uh, sitting out there. It's just uh, minus 30 in the hangar, so <laughs> battery doesn't like it. Alright guys, so we got it on. It took about an hour and a half. It is minus 30 here, so I had to warm up several times. My hands were pretty cold working with the metal. Um, you really need to work with your hands to uh, do these little little bolts and stuff. But it went on relatively easy. Uh, there's no modifications done whatsoever um, from the factory. So it just 
Yeah, my battery just died on the GoPro. Uh, it lasts about two minutes in this cold. I think I need to get a new one. So I got this external pack it's recording to right now, uh, keeping it charged up. So yeah, I was talking about the shroud. Um, it was not no modifications done to install it. Um, I had to uh, swing out the oil radiator because it was in the way to get the front of the shroud on. So there's three bolts I had to undo on the um, oil radiator. And then this just swung out of the way. And then I was able to get that thing the, where the two inch hose connects on. That's kind of where the problem was to get it on. So yeah, I just basically swung that out and then got the thing on. There's two clamps holding it on and then all these screws at the bottom that uh, basically keep it on. So it should get good, a lot better <laughs> heat out of this thing. Again, here's the old one. Covers hardly any of the muffler and that's the new one. And another thing I did, I just used some zip ties to zip tie some of the stuff out of the way so it doesn't um, bind on the edges of this and cut through. So I just kept them up by using some zip ties there. So that's basically it. We're gonna put the shroud back on, or the, we're gonna put the cowl back on and come back tomorrow to try it out. Give it a try in minus 30 and see how it does. Okay, so there's one problem I ran into when putting the cowl. It hit the cowl at the bottom. So what we're gonna do was actually just hitting these clips that go in here. Um, this is what they used. So these were sticking down like that and that was just enough to hit the bottom of the cowl. So we're just gonna use some uh, bolts and nuts to go through there instead of these quick things. The quick ones are nice, but um, yeah, it's just a little too deep. It's the cowl, so we'll just change that out and get the cowl on. I can see what I did here. Just put some bolts and nuts on that I had. I don't think you need them. Every hole has kind of excessive all those holes. So four should do it. All right, guys. <laughs> it might be the coldest day of the year today, December 31st. It's currently minus 27. Uh, this, this morning it was minus 35. Uh, feels more like minus 48 with the wind chill. Though it's cold. I'm gonna go fly and test out the new heater and see how it works. All right, so I got the Engine nice and warm. I got the Tannis preheater on. It's been on all night. Keeps the engine warm and the batteries warm. There's some battery blankets on them. So it starts up usually pretty nice. And yeah, we're gonna load up the GoPros and go flying. Hey guys, so unfortunately all of my audio didn't work uh, in the flight, um, but I'm going to talk about the shroud a little bit more. So I got a four times increase in temperature inside the cabin. 
versus the pipistrelle line that they make. Uh, it's basically four times the amount of coverage, um, so it makes sense that I'm getting a whole lot more heat out of it. And I am actually going to sell them on my website, so you guys can go to the link in the description of this video to check out that and place your order if you want. So this heater shroud, it will fit this muffler. It's for the 912IS engine, and this is made by Akrobovic. <laughs> This is made by Akrobovic in Sylvania. It's a titanium muffler, and it should, it'll basically bolt on to any Pipistrelle Virus with this muffler. Um, so yeah, it's basically a really nice, sleek design that we've come up with that you can just bolt on and takes about an hour to install. Improve your heat. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll get back to the video. I'll just show you how I keep my engine cool in minus 30. So this is the air intake to cool the cylinders. I do about half tape on that. This is my oil radiator. I cover it about halfway as well. This is the cold air intake, which I was talking about. Um, nice for the summer, not so good for the winter. So I tape that over, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a two inch hose on this and route it to the muffler shroud. And that should give me really nice airflow inside the cabin. Uh, I might get less heat, um, but there's 90 degrees right now, so even if it's 60 with more airflow, it's going to be great. And then this, I cover with foam for my uh, coolant radiator. So it just kind of slowly lets the air in. And that's a trick that I've learned from the previous dealer, Pipistrelle dealer. So that's a really nice thing to do there. That keeps your temps really nice in the winter. I had about 90 oil and 90 coolant and really nice temps on the cylinder heads. So yeah, that's what I do. All right, stay warm guys. It's uh, chilly here. Hopefully it's warmer where you guys are. All right, talk to you later.